How to create a website with Tumblr. What? Yes, Tumblr, let's begin. What's up everybody, it's David from WebsiteCreditPro.com. I hope you're having a great day. So in this tutorial video, I'm gonna walk you through step one to step done on how to create your very own custom website with Tumblr.com. Tumblr has been around since 2007 and was bought out by Automatic, which is the company behind WordPress. I would describe Tumblr as sort of like a micro blogging platform, sort of like a hybrid between Twitter and Blogger. So in this tutorial video, I'm gonna walk you through all the steps that you need to know in order to get started with Tumblr. I'm gonna show you how to create an account, how to set up your own custom domain name, design your website, and all the little details that you need to know about on the back end with tumblr.com. So if you're ready to get started, make sure to check the links in the description for timestamps and resources mentioned in the video. So let's begin. Welcome to my laptop, but let's begin. So this is tumblr.com and right here, Tumblr is so easy to use, it's hard to explain. No, it's not, it's a hybrid between Twitter and blogger so anyways let's go ahead and sign up so that's simple enough click on the blue button that says sign up then you're going to have to enter your email password and then your blog name okay so once you fill that information out it's going to ask you how old you are so just go ahead and put in your age or whatever you want to do so i'm going to put my age in then click on next Okay, and then it gives you an option to just select what you're interested in because again, it's a social media network. So this is going to just uh, populate your feed with different aspects of things that you're, you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on, we'll say science and we'll say history. Uh, let me come down here, illustrations, culture, and we'll say business. Okay, now let's go ahead and click on next. And now it's building our dashboard. And that's it. You literally created a Tumblr account. Now the thing that you need to do is confirm your email address. So within your email, you should have a confirmation. So let me go ahead and click on resend. Fantastic. So verify your email address. Let me go ahead and do that. This is me. All right. So now you're going to have to just do a quick little captcha. Let's go ahead and say, I'm not a robot. Okay, and so now you can download Tumblr uh, to your mobile device if you're on iOS or uh, Android, and that's it. So let's go ahead and click on skip to your dashboard. Welcome to tumblr.com. So this is your dashboard, and your dashboard has a feed front and center, which is based on the topics you chose to follow during the onboarding process. It will also be populated by any specific blogs you choose to follow as well. And it's really that simple. So to navigate to your specific account, just click on the icon right up over here then your Tumblr website will appear. Okay, so my Tumblr website is vidnance.tumblr.com. So like Vidnance Video Finance, that's what I'm going to be doing with this Tumblr blog. Now, I definitely recommend that you call your Tumblr blog the same as the custom domain name that you register. So we'll get to that later. Again, not a huge deal, but just something to be aware of. Now, right over here, very simple. You have text, photo, quote, link, chat, audio, and video. So these are different items that you can add it to your Tumblr blog with ease. Very easy to use. You just click on, for example, photo. Then you can upload a photo. You can add a photo from the around the web. Uh, very simple. Now up top there is your main menu. So you have your home link over here, okay? And then right over here, you have your inbox. Your inbox is from messages from within the Tumblr platform. And then you have this pencil icon. And the pencil icon has the same layout as this right there. So it's kind of redundant. Anyways, the important aspect is to navigate to your settings. So go ahead and click on the icon. Then we wanna click on this little gear icon over there. Now this is going to direct us to our settings page. Okay, so this is the settings within your Tumblr account. So you can edit and adjust everything from this interface. So you can change your username right there. You can change the website theme, whether or not you want to show your likes, what you're following, replies, ask submissions. So with submissions, you can actually have other Tumblr users submit post to post on your actual uh, Tumblr blog if you want. Next, right down here, we have affiliate links. So what this is, is it changes unaffiliated links to into Tumblr affiliate links. So that means affiliate links for Tumblr, not for you. So that means like if there's some type, something that you're linking to where Tumblr has some type of affiliate relationship with, they'll automatically link to this product or service as an affiliate that benefits Tumblr, not you. So totally up to you whether or not you want to enable that. Now, again, if you use your own affiliate link, it's not going to overwrite it. So again, totally up to you. This is a way that uh, Tumblr kind of promotes themselves to, as a way for them to make money. 
right here you have the quo or Q, whatever you want to call it. So right here, you can just set posts to be posted every day, every other day to kind of keep your Tumblr blog active. Then we have the language, time zone, visibility, block, blocks of who you blocked, and then you can export your website. Okay, and that's it. So over here, we have accounts, dashboard, notification, apps, privacy, labs. And so if we jump over to the lab section, so you can enable Tumblr labs. And so this will just enable things on your Tumblr blog that are still experimental that, you know, new features that Tumblr is rolling out, but that's not ready to go across the website yet. Uh, that sort of thing. Then right down there, you have your different blogs. So you can go ahead and create a new blog within one account. So you can have one account and then multiple blogs if you want. And that's really it. That's all you really need to know to get started with Tumblr. Let's set a custom domain name for our Tumblr blog. Now, in order to do that, we actually first need to get a .com. So for that, I recommend going to Namecheap, which is a domain name register, low prices, and free who is protection. So come right here and then type in the domain name that you want to register, and then click on search. Okay, so then Namecheap is going to come back and tell you whether or not your domain name is available. Now, if it says not available, that means you have to click on this and then type in a different combination of words. When you find something that you can actually register, uh, go ahead and click on add to cart. Then let's view item and let's go to checkout. All right, so on the checkout page, you can register a domain name for up to 10 years in advance. You can turn auto renew on if you want. So if it's on, that means your credit card or whatever payment gateway you choose to use will be automatically charged every single year and you get free domain name privacy. So when you register a domain name, you have to provide accurate contact information as part of ICANN rules. What domain name privacy does just keeps all that information private. And with Namecheap, this is why I like Namecheap. You get it completely for free. Anyways, when you're ready, go ahead and click on confirm order and you are good to go. Okay, so once we have our domain name, the only thing we need to do next is set an A record and maybe a C name record. So if your domain name is going to be myblog.com, then all you need to do is add in an A record. And then this is the A record right here, 666444. Now, if it's going to be something like www.myblog.com or blog.myblog.com, whatever, you're also going to need to create a C name record to domains.tumblr.com. Now, don't get too confused. A record, C name record, what are we talking about? Now, the next step you need to do is navigate over to your domain name register. So I'm using Namecheap in this example. So click on manage for the domain name you want to edit, then click on advanced DNS. Then right down here is where you can add in different records. So if you see any records already in here, go ahead and delete them. You can delete records just by clicking on the trash icon, and then just add in a new record. So for an A record, again, we click here to add a new record. Then you want to click on A record, then the host symbol is the at symbol. And then again, the value is 666444. Literally just take this number, highlight it, copy and paste it in right there. Now, if you want to set it so it's www.myblog.com, then you're going to have to also add in a C name record. So again, you come down here to add a new record, then you navigate down here to where it says C name record. Now the host is the www, okay? It's not an at symbol, it's www. What's the target? Well, it's telling you to target right here, domains.tomboard.com. That's it, okay? So all you have to do is click on the little check mark to save, and that's it, okay? So right now, all I have is an A record set up right here, and I'm good to go. So the last step you need to do is navigate back to your settings for your Tumblr blog, okay? Now right here where it says username, you want to click on the little pencil icon. Then we want to click on use a custom domain name, okay? Now what domain name do we want to use? You want to use the domain name we just set up. So let me type this in, .com, and then that's it. Let's go ahead and test the domain name. And there we go. It should say it's good. Then go ahead and click on save. And that's it. So that's how you set a custom domain name for your Tumblr website. Let's begin designing our Tumblr website. So designing with Tumblr is quick, easy, and fun, and it works primarily by way of themes. So first off, let's click on our avatar, and then you want to make sure to click on the little gear icon, and that's going to take you back to the settings page. So over here, we can edit the appearance and change this image and the avatar, but that's not really what we want to do. We want to navigate down here to where it says website theme. Just go ahead and click on edit theme then the Tumblr customizer is going to load. 
then you just change the appearance of your website by changing the theme. Then when you change the theme, the settings over here will change ever so slightly just depending on the theme. So for example, like this with show avatar, we can click off that and that hides the avatar there. Not every theme uses an avatar, so it really just depends. So anyways, let's go ahead and click on a browse themes. And this is going to show us all the themes that we can use. Within Tumblr, they have premium themes and they have paid themes. If you click on this drop down arrow right there, it's organized into helpful categories. So we have like single column, free themes, good for text, minimal, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on free themes. Okay, so let's go ahead and select a free theme to use for our websites. All right, this one looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the observer. And yeah, I like this nice minimalistic looking website, works for me. So when you're ready, just go ahead and click on use and then you can change the appearance. So for example, it says untitled. Obviously we wanna call this the name of our website, not untitled, then a description. So I'll just say video finance blog, for example. Then we have the avatar, uh, background color. So for example, you can just, again, self-selecting. So if you wanna make it a weird color, you can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna leave this white. so people actually enjoy being on the website. Okay, so right down here, you have your open graph options. So this changes how your website looks when people share it on social media. You definitely wanna fill something out. So what I would recommend is going with website, uh, the name of your website, a page separator, then a keyword description of what the website's about, then a quick little one sentence description of your website. So if someone shares this on Facebook, for example, that you don't want it to come up saying like untitled or something like that. So go ahead and just put in something right there. Now, right down here, you have different options for this specific theme. So again, you have the logo, so you can update a logo, body text, uh, body font, show navigation, for example, you toggle that off. For example, the, lo the navigation disappears. Uh, right here, we have show archive navigation. We can turn that off with this. So again, that's why I said it depends on the theme because some themes you can't turn off archive navigation, for example. So again, just depends on the theme. If you're like, if you're on a specific Tumblr theme that's different from this one, you're like, hey, I don't have that option. Well, it depends on the theme that you're using. Okay, and so really just navigate through this and toggle things on and off as you like. It's really that simple. So right down there, we have Google Analytics. You can add in Google Analytics. You can see how much traffic you're getting. Then over here, you can add in pages to your websites. So for example, I wanna add in an about page. We'll just call this about, about the URL. So it'd be vidnance.com slash about. Show a link to this page. Yep, and then let's click on save. And there you go. So now we've successfully added an about link. Then within this piece of content right there, we can add in images, bullet points, links, uh, HTML text. You have a lot of different little customizations over the way the page will appear. Uh, in general, just go with text, then images, and then maybe add in some HTML code as need be. Maybe if you have like a contact form, uh, for example, you could put that in here, that sort of thing. Really that simple. So let me back out of this and there we go. Okay, so let's navigate back over here. Okay, so first up, actually, make sure to click on save. <laughs> so if you don't click on save, none of these changes that you make are going to save. And there we go. Okay, so we have a nice quick little website that we set up quickly. Now, if we navigate back to our settings page, you do have a couple little things in here. So for example, likes. So if we have share posts you like, this is going to share any posts we liked. Okay, following, you can choose whether or not you want to show who you're following on Tumblr, or you can keep that private. Right down here, we have ask. So you would turn this on. It lets your audience ask you questions. And then we have, you can ask anonymous questions, submissions. You can have people submit posts. And then you can have these submission guidelines. You can allow different types of content over there. Messaging, allow messages from Tumblr users you follow, yes or no, or allow messages from everyone. Again, your inbox is over there. So you're going to get messages on the platform, the affiliate links. So if you link to, if you're writing about something and it's relevant to a, a company that Tumblr has an affiliate relationship with, they'll automatically link to it. That benefits Tumblr and not you. So I personally would turn this off and then use your own affiliate marketing, get your own affiliate links and then add it to your website. The queue, again, you can just set up a queue of posts that you want to go out at different times, then the language, visibility, and then any one you have blocked. And it's really that simple, okay? So let me just go ahead and click on vid Nance. 
just to show you how it looks. Okay, so now we have home, about, ask me anything, and submit a post. Again, these two links are because we turn the settings on in the background. So with, again, some themes you have direct control over what appears in the menu bar. Sometimes it's because you have an item over here that's turned on, okay? And some themes show your likes. They'll have a little link to likes. Again, depends on the theme. So some themes you can turn that on and off. Like this theme doesn't have any link that says like likes in the, in the top right there. So otherwise, it looks really good, okay? So one little question I know you're going to ask is like, how do I get rid of this? The Tumblr and follow this and you can't. You can't, okay? Tumblr, again, is kind of a hybrid between Twitter and Blogger. So it's a blogging platform where we can have your own custom website, but it's like Twitter in the sense that you can't get away from the branding of Tumblr. And that's it, okay? So then, again, just navigate back to your homepage over here. And then within here, you can just go through and create content as you want. So text, photo, quotes, and that's it, okay? And so you just post stuff right here. It's very easy. Okay, so let's navigate to our account right there. Okay, so right over here, we have different aspects right there. So let's navigate to our posts. So once you navigate to your post, this is where you can delete stuff, okay? So I know you're going to be like, how do I delete something I've published that I don't like? You got to click on this little icon. Then you go here. Then you got to navigate to your post. Once this opens up, then you can click on the little trash icon to delete anything. And that's it, okay? So anyways, that's how you get started with Tumblr. OK, it's a really nice little platform to create a minimalistic, simple site where you can post videos, content, images, etc. You can interact with other Tumblr users, etc. So anyways, that is it for this tutorial. All right, everyone, that's it for this tutorial video on how to create a website with Tumblr.com. Overall, I think it's a fun, creative platform to create content on and share with others. Uh, obviously, it's not ideal for commercial purposes. So if you're looking to create a website where you can make money from display advertising, affiliate marketing, selling products and courses, Tumblr is probably not for you. Tumblr is truly a hybrid between Twitter.com and Blogger.com in the sense that it's a social media platform where you can have your own dedicated website. Anyways, I'm starting to ramble, so I'll leave it there. My name is David from WebsiteCreatorPro.com. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.